thank you for visiting my channel. And if you do enjoy the message, please like, share, comment, even subscribe. And if you want to support the channel, everything will be in the description box. So this is just a general message. So we did have the Four of Pentacles coming out. Liar. It says, be careful. Someone is sneaky. We do have, no, it's not the right time. And at the bottom of this deck, we do have narcissist. It says, someone is too full of themselves. And at the bottom of this deck, we do have the magician card. So, I just feel like you do have a narcissistic energy that is trying to hold on to you. This person view you as some kind of possession of theirs. And they definitely will come in with any kind of lies or whatever it takes to get you back. I feel like this person is in the energy of trying to manifest you back at this time. Could be a Gemini energy that is trying to do this. A Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. But I feel like this person is very narcissistic and they will do whatever it takes to get you back into their life. And I just feel like with this no card right here, the universe is not going to allow this person to come back in. So let's see what else we have. What is this Four of Pentacles for the Collective? What is this Four of Pentacles? Okay, yeah. We do have fire energy coming out with this Knight of Wands. This person could have been up in player energy when they were with you. And this person still is in player energy. Like I said, this is a very narcissistic person. This person could have been very impulsive. This person could want to rush back in really quick. So be careful because like I said, when this person does come back in, they're going to be lying, cheating, whatever they can do to get you to come back into their life. Follow your intuition with this high priestess card. Follow your intuition. You could know this by looking into tarot. You could do divination or something like that. You could feel this person coming back in. You know that this person is coming back. Use your intuition. You could feel it. So let's see what else is going on. What is this nine of wands? What is this Knight of Wands for the Collective? What is this Knight of Wands? We do have the Queen of Wands coming out crossing. So like I said, this could be a fire sign, a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries that is coming back in. You could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, or you could be a fire sign. But I just see that this person is looking directly at you. Look at these two looking at each other. Maybe this person has another female in their life, another male. This is just a general message. Take it how it resonates. But somebody knows about you and you know that this person was with someone else. I feel like this person would like to have the both of you guys with this star card energy. I feel like this person would feel like this is their wishes being fulfilled if they could get both of you together. Let's see what else. That's the spirit guides crossing again. Like I said, this person wants to find some kind of balance between you two with this temperance energy. Could be a Sagittarius, but I feel like this person wants to come in and try to make something work. Maybe they're, you know, they, uh, what do you call it? Polygamy. They like to have more than one lover. So this person could be trying to get you together with another person. They see that you could be single with this nine of pentacles. They see you are very abundant. You're single. You're living your life. You have a lot of good things going on around you. And this person could be coming in because they see finances around you. Like I said, this is a narcissistic energy. So they want their cake and eat it too. Let's see what else we have going on. Like I said, use your intuition here with this high priestess and this emperor energy. This person sees you in some big boss energy here. You know, they could see you as a divine feminine, a divine masculine. They see that you have a lot of good luck going on and they want to come back in. Use your intuition when it comes to this person. Do not get confused with this with this hangman energy. Do not be confused. This person is coming back in because they see resources that they need. Like I said, this person could be sitting here. They could be thinking about this. They could be watching you, just stuff watching you. Yes, that's the spirit guides. What's the messages? What's the messages? Yeah, this person wants to come out of this heartbreak with this three of swords in reverse. Like I said, they could have had you in a third party situation with this queen of wands or this queen of cups energy. So they want to they want to mend this situation here. Yeah, definitely somebody from the past with the six of cups. This person wants to come back in. They want to fix something. They want to hold on to you. But this person is not going to be coming in with any kind of truth. And they still are very narcissistic. What is this? Yeah. 
with this world card energy, you completed this cycle with this person. You know exactly who they are. You know who they are. You know they have someone else. You know, you know exactly their tricks, their games here. You could have been married to this person with this queen of pentacles. Or like I said, this person is seeing finances around you. They see that you're very secure, very abundant. You could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or a Virgo. But this person is seeing a lot of fruit on your tree here. If you completed this cycle with this person, keep moving. One last message. Ancestors yes, Spirit guys. What's the message? One more. Fell on the floor. It was the justice card up, right? So this would be this person's karma here. You know, this is good karma for you. This is this person's karma to lose you. Let's see. Ancestors yes, Spirit guys. One more, please. One more, please. Okay, so we do have the fool card. This person is feeling like a fool. Aries energy here. This person is feeling like a fool because they left you or you had to leave them behind. And that's your karma here. But this justice card at the bottom of the deck could be a Libra. But this is this person's karma to, you know, lay in the bed that they made. It's your karma to go on and be successful and do the things that you're doing. This person is still a liar, still a snake, and they just want to hold on to you. They probably want to put you back in a third party situation. Just keep moving. 